Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode of the Weekly Compass, we're going to take a look at the energies for the week of the 11th through the 17th of 2021. <laughs> um, before I get started, I just want to mention that this is, of course, a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading, then I have many um, offerings on my website. Just book some time with me and I would love to work with you and take a closer look at your energies or your numerology. Okay. So as we get into the week, we have an 11 energy, an 11-2 energy. And so this can signify tests or challenges coming up, legal dealings or proceedings, um, the need for quick decisions and decisiveness, um, art, so being drawn to the arts or being drawn to your creative spirit. Uh, inspiration is a big one, as well as like the energy of excitement. And so that can be on either extreme, like the excitement for something new and exciting or like anxious kind of excitement. Um, so sudden events at this time may require decisive action. So try to be alert to the things to things that are sort of changing quickly and, you know, where you need to put your own input into it, right? Like where your input is needed. So just be aware of your surroundings and like what's happening and what's coming up for you. And those you'll know if something needs a quick decision. Um, there's that sort of excited energy around it. And so again, if it's something that you can kind of put on the back burner and don't need to, you know, you can per sort of let it percolate, then great. But if it's something that comes in and it just needs to, you know, it needs, it has that energy of sort of more um, immediacy, then, then see to that that you, you know, put your input where it's needed. So try to channel any intense energies that may come in at this time into something worthwhile. That's really, really important. And again, because that excite, that sort of excitement energy can be coming in really, really strongly, um, anxiety or, you know, emotions on any, any part of the spectrum can be coming in much more intensely at this time. And so it's really important to pay attention to how you're utilizing that energy and what you're channeling it into and what you know, actions you're taking with that energy. So if you take the time to, you know, be aware of that energy, be aware of your emotions, be, you know, aware of that intensity and find ways to be able to, again, transmute it or channel it into something worthwhile, then this can be a really powerful cycle and a really powerful time that can lead to great accomplishments. So just be aware of that. Be cognizant of where you can sort of step up as an inspirational leader within your life. How can you inspire others through your words and your actions? So when we think of the word inspire, it really means in spirit. So how can you make sure that your actions are in spirit or divinely guided or within your highest expression. So again, pay attention to those, those intensities that may come in around the beginning of the week and pay attention to the action that you're taking around those intensities. Um, and again, how can you sort of channel that energy into a way that inspires others in some way through your words and through your actions? At the end of the week, we move into that eight energy and so this is a great energy for good fortune, rewards, travel, if that's relevant for you, meditation, cosmic synchronicities. So anything related to business can equate to receiving, you know, a good sum of money, gifts, advancements, promotions, or just that golden idea to sort of implement. So just be aware of that energy towards the end of the week, because I feel like that's going to be really prominent. Be sure to open yourself up to being more expectant of big, positive abundance, okay? So again, if you're in that lack mentality or your self-defeating thoughts are sort of shielding you from being open to abundance, it's not that, you know, that abundance isn't trying to find you or that it won't find you, but, you know, you're kind of delaying the process. And so again, it's really important to make sure that you're energetically open 
to receiving and being expectant. Like you will expect that abundance to find you, okay? As opposed to expecting it to pass you by, right? So just pay attention to your mindset during this time because you're you're gonna have a lot of power with your mind during this time. So again, just keep yourself open energetically the best that you can to be expectant of big positive abundance. This is a great, this eight energy is a great energy for determination and mental vitality. So you could find that you're much more focused at this time. You could find that your deeper desires and your ideas can more easily emerge at this time with clarity on like how to bring them into reality. So again, where maybe it was a little foggy or it felt too like sort of in the distance, it's like it's emerging at this time and ready to be sort of molded and worked with and it's a lot more pliable. So just, you know, again, allow it to emerge naturally and you should receive some kind of clarity. Now, again, this is a general reading, so this isn't for everyone, but you should receive some kind of clarity on how to bring those big ideas into the tangible step-by-step. Be very aware at this time of any self-defeating thoughts. We just talked about this, but this is really, really important. This is a time where those thoughts can become actions very, very quickly. So again, be really aware of those self-defeating thoughts and re- and try to replace them with ones that are better serving, right? So an example is if you keep having the same thought on sort of rewind, that is that energy of I'm not good enough, then when that thought pops up, then simply acknowledge it and replace it with something much more serving, such as I'm doing the best that I can, I'm still learning, and I will succeed. So you're changing the energy from one of I'm not good enough, which is very low energy, low vibe, and you're simply changing that dialogue with yourself to say, you know, I'm doing the best that I can, I'm still learning, and I will succeed. So you're changing the energy and you have the power to do that. So just pay attention to that as it comes up. And the more that you can do that within your life, the more that you will silence that negativity, silence those 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 thought processes, those self-defeating patterns that are no longer serving you. And you will replace it with those thought patterns that are serving you or that will serve you. Okay, so let's get into the reading. So I pulled uh, an animal spirit card to get an overall energy for the week. And we got tiger spirit and tiger says, you're being called upon to provide leadership. So trust that you're capable of doing so. And what I love is that tiger's message really ties in that 11 energy at the beginning of the week with that eight energy at the end of the week. And so again, it's like, you know, being that inspirational leader, being very decisive in how you're using your energy and how you want to lead, right? And it could be, you know, that you're leading alongside of others, but that you're doing so in a way where your actions express your leadership ways, right? And so again, as we move into the end of the week, you're being called to make, to remind yourself that you're capable of being that leader, being, you're, that you're capable of being that inspirational leader to others. And so again, it's it's changing the thought processes. It's, it's making sure that you're in tune with your own energy and how you want to progress forward and how, what kind of leader do you want to be, right? So Tiger's message is really profound. And again, I feel like we're gonna, you're going to have opportunities this week to really hone in on that and to see what kind of leader do I want to be? How do I want to express myself in a way that is, you know, in a leadership capacity? Capacity. And it doesn't have to be literal where it's like you're, you know, you are actually like a manager or a supervisor or leading somebody in that capacity. But it's more about like leading by example and and knowing that you are capable of doing so. So profound message from Tiger. I think that's really relevant. And I think you're going to see that pop up throughout this week to, again, harness that energy to be able to take it with you moving forward. So at the beginning of the week, I see this energy of like having worked really, really hard for something like just feeling like overwhelmed or feeling like you've had to do it all on your own or feeling really isolated, feeling like overly burdened. And I'm seeing this energy of like a shift in uh, sort of like a shift in the sands. And so it's kind of like you may see more support coming at this time. 
you may see um, more opportunities to delegate those responsibilities. So maybe like you will hire somebody, um, you know, hire an assistant or something like that, or you'll utilize your assistant, you know, more to their abilities and trust them more to be able to do the work that you need them to do. Um, this could be like, you know, in your home life, if you are someone who is like sort of the, the, one who takes on the majority of the responsibility in your home. This could be like you getting to the point where you're like, you know what, I I deserve to be able to delegate some of these tasks. I deserve to have some me time. So this is an opportunity for you to kind of see that support come in. And what's interesting is it's like the support feels like it was already there, but you were kind of too focused on needing to do it yourself or needing to have that level of control that you were kind of missing your support network, your support team, and so or what they're capable of, or maybe you didn't feel you know, again, maybe you felt like you needed to sort of retain control so that it's done, quote unquote, right. So this is just an energy of like really becoming more aware of the people and the resources available to help lighten the load a little bit. It is, of course, all about what you do with that. So are you going to take advantage of that and actually utilize those those resources available to you, including those people who can help you to lighten that load? Or are you going to continue on the path of trying to do it all yourself because you know again you will get to your destination by doing it all yourself but you're going to make yourself much more uncomfortable in that process if you just simply open your perspective a little bit to see what support team you have available to you and actually utilize them then it's going to make the journey much more comfortable and so i do see again it doesn't feel like for some of you it may be like new people coming in new resources or new ideas coming in that will make your job much easier. And I say your job, I just mean like your experience. So whatever that may be. Um, so for some, it could be like new energy coming in that helps to lighten that load. But for many of you, I do feel like this is like the support team was already there. It was just that you were maybe a little too stubborn in wanting to sort of share that load and like trusting that they are capable of um, doing the work as well as you can, right? Whatever that work may be. So this is just an opportunity for you to sort of, again, trust yourself and others to be able to do whatever needs to be done uh, to the best of your ability or the best of their ability and to get it done, you know? So it's just a matter, again, just opening yourself up a little bit, receiving and accepting that support and um, working as a team the best that you can. Then we move into midweek, and it's interesting because those emotions are coming up, that that intense emotion, you know, sort of emotive energy is coming in pretty strongly. And again, that energy of like teamwork, like working together and being in choosing how you want to work with others. So again, this could be, you know, work with sort of like working with yourself and not against yourself when it comes to your emotions and your actions. So it's like we have those thoughts and those thoughts often lead to some kind of action and so you know I say thoughts it could also be emotions that which lead to some kind of action and so you just have to remember that you get to choose the action and what you know what what do you do with that thought so again if you have a thought and you're like you know are you going to take action on that thought or are you going to come back to the thought and rearrange that thought into something more productive and then take action from that space. So again, I just feel like the middle of the week, there's this sort of like intense emotional energy coming in. And it's really this call to what are you going to do with that energy? And how are you, you know, what kind of actions are you going to take? And is it going to be one that harmonizes with others and works with others? Or is it going to be one that, that continues to sort of keep you in seclusion or that has you kind of working against others? Um, this is really a time for you to harness that master energy of the 11 and come together with others. And it's like you're, you may have certain thoughts, but it's what you do with those thoughts that make all the difference. And so, and that's up to you. You have that choice. You have that power. And so there's really this energy of like the opportunity is there to do something with those emotions, those thoughts that, that really bring harmony and allow you to come together with others or that allows you to do the opposite and fall to the other extreme. So it's just a matter of 
what do you want to contribute your energy towards? And we talk about this a lot, but it's really like, you know, as those, those impulsive sort of feelings come up where it's like, okay, you, you get triggered by something or something comes up and you feel really intensely about it. Um, or very strongly about it. It's like, what are you going to do with that energy? How are you going to act on it? And it's that action that makes all the difference, right? Because when it's a thought, you know, that that thought, that energy does affect you individually, but it's when you act upon it, that it starts to affect others, and then it spreads like wildfire. And so again, be very mindful of those actions and how you utilize that intense emotive energy that could potentially be coming in midweek um you know and how can you use that again to harmonize the situation or the experience or work with others in a way that's harmonious as opposed to you know divisive or um yeah just negative at low vibe energy so that that power lies with you then we move into the end of the week and it's interesting i'm seeing this energy of like a major completion this could also be an energy of like a major ending. So if there's like a relationship or something like that that needs to come to completion, it's felt like a lot of work. It's just felt like you're constantly hitting a brick wall. It's taking a lot of your energy and there's not a lot of exchange of energy. Um, it could be a major ending in that way. So that is possible. Um, and this, of course, can be career relationships, however it shows up for you, because it is a general reading. But I'm also really getting this feeling really strongly that this is like major completion in the form of like an achievement. So it's like you've really sort of showed up with, you know, in dedicated, you know, dedicated towards your work in some way. And work, of course, again, can be career purpose. It can be home life. It can be relationships. But it's almost like you were really dedicated towards something and you really have been putting in a lot of effort and a lot of work. And I see like whatever that situation was that you were, you kept showing up to and really trying to make things work like that coming to completion in, in the form of achievement. So it's like you're finally seeing some tangibles from your dedicated efforts. Um, so yeah, that feels really, really positive, actually. So, you know, just however it comes in for you, again, it could be an ending of sorts for those of you that that resonates with. But this feels more like, man, you've put in the effort, you've put in the dedication, and it's like you have been resilient, and now you've, and you've overcome so many obstacles. And it's like, just when you're ready to give up, you kept going, because you felt that that vision, that drive, and now you're receiving those rewards. That that journey has come to a completion, those struggles are over, and you're starting a new chapter. And that's the energy that's really coming in strongly. So I feel like that's the one that's, uh, that's really the message. So good news there, very positive. It's like your dedication, your, your persistence, you know, you have prevailed. <laughs> and that's kind of like, you're going to start to see those rewards for those, those efforts and that, that long journey. So positive positive energy there and that makes so much sense too because we're ending the week with that eight energy and it's all about yeah just success and you know being that that standing in your power and receiving those rewards from your work and in, in your dedicated work in purpose so however you know that comes in for you this is great great energy of good fortune again rewards that sort of thing so i hope it's very very positive for you well, I hope it's a great week, everyone. Thank you so much for your support and your positive energy and just being who you are. I appreciate each and every one of you. I see you and I just, I'm so grateful. So thank you for being on this journey with me. I will be back again soon. Take care and bye for now.